So here we have a very important circuit. I like this circuit. You know why? Here we have this IC, this small IC, U10. Okay, this is a TPS 51100. Okay, so as you know, for the RAM, always RAM or random access memory needs two kinds of power the main power and the power for RAM terminals. Okay, so this is we have in this schematic or in this motherboard the RAM is ddr2 and as you know the main power or the working voltage for ddr2 is 1.8 i will show you so as you see here we have here the motherboard here this is a ddr2 okay do you see here the power we have here 1.8 volt okay this is 1.8 volt because this is ddr2 exactly as we have here like the schematic we have here 1.8 volt so 1.8 volt is the working power for the ram but the ram also needs another power for its terminals i will show you its terminals as you can see here here this is terminals as you can see this this is terminals okay this is RAM terminals. So this RAM terminals needs 0 0.9 volts. Why 0 0.9 volt? Do half of the main power. Do half of this power is 0 0.9 volt. So to generate this 0 0.9 volt, we know we need an IC or a power management IC to generate this power. So this IC with reference TP is TPS 51100 is the IC that is responsible for generating this power. It takes 1.8 volt, as you can see, in these two pins. So we have here V in the main power or the working power for this IC is not 19 volt. No, because this is just a small IC. We have here 5 volt, as you see. The 5 volt is the V in, is the one key power for this ice okay and then we have here 1.8 volt this 1.8 volt as you can see is the input as you can see we have here the vdd okay so the 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 input 1.8 volt will be the input for this ic then we will get the vtt as you see the voltage for terminals as you see vtt we will get 0 0.9 volt for another motherboard with for example ddr3 its main power is not 1.8 volt no its power is 1.5 volt i will show you a motherboard with ddr3 random access memory so as you can see here this is a motherboard with a ddr3 memory as you can see here we have 1.5 volt and also here we have 1.5 volt okay so this is the main power but for terminals we need the half of this power means 0 0.75 volt so in the schematic of that motherboard we need here 1.5 volt and in order to get here 0 0.75 volt okay so this is the working principle for the random access memory power. Always the RAM needs two powers, the main power and the VTT or the power for ter terminals. Always the VTT is the half of the main power. Okay. And always, so the power for DDR1, the main power for DDR1 is 2.5 volt and the power for ddr2 as we have seen in this schematic is 1.8 volt and for ddr3 the, the main power is 1.5 volt and its vtt should be 0.75 volt 
okay, the half of 1.5 volt. And for DDR4, the main power is 1.2 volt, and its VTT power is 0.6 volt. And for DDR5, the main power is 1.1 volt, means its VTT should be 0.55 volt. Okay?